Hello, Fight fans. Welcome back to the Academy. I'm Coach Bill, as you know. And I've been a boxing coach for about 20, 30 years. And I, well, I'm re I, I have reached a point, I'm going to be honest, I've reached a point where <clears throat> I think... I think everybody knows this, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna let I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it be said. The cat the cat the, 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 the cat is out of the bag. I don't even know what that saying means. Uh, I don't really understand. Like I don't even know where that comes from. The cat is out of the bag. Boxing is rigged, and this fight in a, in in particular was rigged. It I mean Wikipedia. It's, it, oh, it can be edited by anyone. It can be edited by anyone. Well, you actually have to have sources, so, uh, no, it can't just be edited by anyone. Um, it literally says at the beginning, Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngano, billed as knockout chaos. Chaos was a professional boxing match contested. It, that means that the result is contested. It literally is in. It's right at the beginning. It's right at the beginning. It says contested, and if you haven't even seen the knockout, and by the way, knockout like so, so it's billed as knockout chaos, and then so so, so happens to be that like it gets that one of them gets knocked out. I don't. I see. Like, I really don't understand. Like. <laughs> When you have something like that, where, like, obviously that's a rig, that's rigged, because you're obviously just trying to make sure that, you, you know, you look like you were prophetic. And by the way, this is in Saudi Arabia, which I, I'm not saying that's going to make it even more rigged, or I'm not going to say it even makes it even more rigged. And I actually I think it makes it even less rigged because, you know, very religious people, I'm not, so, I'm, but, but... The judges were American, right? So b b b b Michael Buffer, not Bruce Buffer, that's UFC. And so, but Michael Buffer was saying, oh, the referees are from the United States of America, like all of them. Not even one was from England. <clears throat> and the ref was also from the United States. I mean, I love America, you know, but, you know, I think we have to get over 9-11. I, 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 really, I really do. I, but, okay. Okay. All right, enough of that. Um, shout out to my boy, Jay Roos. He sent me this video clip yesterday. <clears throat> and this guy, I don't know who he is, Coach Bill, okay, um, stated that it was rigged because the judges for our, were American. The referee was American. And to counterpunch the first thing, why would judges have anything to do with a knockout you know now he's saying well it just happened to be knockout chaos because and then he happens to get knocked out i mean that was the beauty of it that's that was the irony of it okay that's what people were wanting and then we got so that was a fulfilling part of it but yeah um i don't know who this guy is i, I you know i mean it's it's made some buzz over five thousand people have seen it well the five thousand people that seen it i don't think really needs to hear it any longer but I do need to counterpunch it because when I hear and see something like this, this ludicrous, it has to be addressed. He's saying that Francis Ngannou took a dive against Anthony Joshua. He's saying that, hey, that this fight, you know, didn't go the way it's supposed to went. This Well, this fight went the way it's supposed to went, um, according to corruption. You know, he started talking about 9-11. I cut that off because I'm like, okay, I'm not entertaining that, you know. Um, Joshua hit Francis Ngannou. Francis Ngannou, first of all, to say Francis took a dive, uh, say, to say he didn't get hit, because I'm hearing this more often. I'm hearing this in more other areas too. Just on, not just this cat. I'm just using him as an example that people are saying that Francis Ngannou took a dive to, uh, uh, against Fran uh, Anthony Joshua. Listen, um, Francis Ngannou has too much integrity for that. OK, Francis wouldn't take a dive like that because I don't think he's that type of person. 
Okay. I don't give a shit how much money he was going to get. So, because if he was getting already $20 million, why would he didn't want to take a dive if he's getting that amount of money anyway, twice as much money that he's ever made in his life because $10 million was more than he made ever in the UFC. So what do you think double that's going to be? That means he's going to give it his best, give it his all, do what he can. And he did exactly that until, you know, AJ spoiled him. Okay. Or should I say foiled him by knocking him out? But for anybody saying that this was rigged, you're absolutely out of your mind. Okay. That is the, that's the stupidest thing, you know, for someone. And, and I, I'm not sure about this cat anyway. He kind of sounds a little off to me, you know, seriously. I mean, and I don't really like to talk about people, but you know when a person kind of sounds a little spazzy. That's what that puts me in the mind of. But um, I'm counterpunching it because, again, my boy Jay Roos, you know, sent it to me and he wanted me to counterpunch it. So here it is. Francis Ogonu didn't take a dive for nobody. Francis Ogonu would never take a dive for anyone. Anthony Joshua showed that he can punch. Okay. That man was out cold. All right. That wasn't anything like a Malik Scott and a Deontay Wilder type shit. None of that happened. What happened was Anthony Joshua showed him what a real puncher does, just like Peter Fury, you know, uh, recommended. OK, that's what he mentioned. Like, hey, we'll see if Francis can get hit with a real punch. And we've seen that he could not. OK, but the brain conspiracy into this, something that's solid, something that definite, something that 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 visible. It's actually troubling. But you guys tell me what you think of this article uh, stating that Anthony Joshua took a dive and this fight was rigged because I mean, sorry, Francis and Cono took a dive and this fight was rigged because it was in Saudi Arabia with American judges. Of course, please subscribe and you guys can counterpunch. Peace.